Today, most commercially made paper is made from wood pulp, treated with chemicals, and mechanically processed. Making paper by hand is a craft that involves techniques and materials that go back over 2,000 years in China. These techniques have evolved over time, but the main ingredient remains the same, imagination. Handmade paper is a distinctive choice for a variety of uses, from fine stationery to limited edition prints. Natural fibers like linen or these cotton remnants are the raw materials for handmade paper. Workers place the cotton rag and put it on a conveyor, which leads into a machine that chops it up into small pieces. It collects in a bin ready for the next step called beating the rag. Workers pour out the chopped up rag into a tub called a Hollander that is filling with water. This machine beats the material into a pulp. Its only moving part, a large roll weighing several tons, equipped with metal blades. Workers fill the Hollander with up to 800 pounds of rag. Once all the rag is in, the giant roll descends to begin the beating. Water pours down to soak the fabric as workers push it toward the roll. They sometimes take paper from previous batches known as broke and add it to the mix. They may also add a little dye to adjust the color depending on the desired effect. After eight hours of beating, workers feel the pulp's consistency. They will then take samples from this batch to make sure it doesn't contain any unbeaten rag or knots. Next, they add colorful scraps of paper to the pulp to create a decorative pattern. To make a sheet of paper, the vat man plunges a wooden mold into the pulp. As he lifts out the mold, he shakes it to even out the pulp. Water pours out, leaving only fibers caught on the mold surface. He removes the mold's frame, known as the decal, and lowers the corner of the mold to drain away more water. He places the mold face down on a wet felt, then carefully lifts it away. A sheet of paper now lies on the felt, which he then covers with another wet felt. When Paul pours through the mold's metal screen, it traps the fiber and lets the water through. The vat man plunges the mold once again into the pulp and couches another sheet of this distinctive paper. At this point, the paper is 99% water. Workers bring a stack over to a hydraulic press to draw the water from the paper and link the fibers together. They press the papers with care so they don't burst right out of the felts. They brush any leftover pulp from the felts, leaving them clean and ready for the next batch of sheets. Now, workers can handle the paper without it falling apart. They take the sheets from the felts and hang them to dry on plastic tubes. Once dry, they collect the sheets according to type and stack them for a final finishing press before they go on for shipment to customers around the world. The mold's frame leaves a feathery edge a distinctive feature of handmade paper. These papers are available in more than 30 colors in various finishes from smooth to rugged. There's a paper for every project, whether it's etching, watercolor, drawing, or even folding.